are good. So, okay. Coming back to what we I was trying to say is that we're gonna have KBZ running uh, all stages. That means he goes through all stages. So we are gonna to go into that. But uh, let me uh, KBZ. Let me know when you're ready. I'm gonna give you the countdown. So as well, we can have the countdown for the timer. Okay. So KBZ is ready up. So I'm gonna give him the countdown. It's going to be three, two, one, go, go. Uh, time to start. So if you're all guys ready, three, two, one, go. So entering on Kongo Jungle, we have the mandatory introduction stream Jungle Hinkins. That uh, basically we're gonna have our first set of Extendo. But first of all. Unfortunately, we do not like Donkey, so we're gonna re get rid of him because he's low. And as you see there, KBZ is tapping Y so he can roll through the enemies and don't get the finalization of the rolling animation, so that's pretty nifty. This stage is really fast, nothing to brag about. And now entering into Ropey Rampage, we are gonna see the first of two instances where we're gonna use a bonus to warp through the level, uh, because basically after this bonus, uh, the game is gonna send us directly, almost directly to the end of the stage. So there we go. So and yes, uh, KBZ did run uh, as Super Mario RPG earlier on today. That was a really race, to be honest. So, and as you saw there, uh, KBZ took the bonus, he failed the bonus on purpose, so he could be sent almost to the end of the level. And he's going to go into Reptile Rumble. That we have this really impressive row that if you roll too early, you get the barrel. If you roll too late, uh, you get that. But fortunately, as the farmer god he is, uh, he got it nicely and... You're gonna see there the crawl spaces that as you saw there he zipped through the crawl spaces that is when he press down forward and start jumping he can basically zip through the crawl spaces without, ha without having to watch a Didi or donkey uh, do the crawling animation which is too damn slow and now uh, we're gonna he's getting into the first water level uh, best song in the game, well, second song in the game, uh, Coral Capers, that's basically where we see the most amount of resets on any runner, and we see our boy in Ward, as we call in the community, Eduardo. As you saw there, he went through the Croctopus really nicely, but normally, seven times out of ten, we always get hit to the Croctopus, unless you're KBC or any top runner that knows where to lunge with Eduardo nicely. So now he's just gonna tap Y until the end of the level. This is fast and Eduardo goes without a scratch. So shout out to Eduardo. We're, we're gonna see him a couple more times. Don't worry about that. So now this level is pretty much simple because you go through the barrels that are on the top of, of it. But there is a chance that you can fail it and then you must decide either to try it again or not. So as you see here, he's gonna tap Y, release, tap Y again, and land on that platform. So he can use the critter to jump through that palm tree and get another set of shooting barrels that basically is shooting him towards the end of the stage. So now he's, we are gonna go into the first boss of the game, very naughty. Uh, simple boss, just need to jump over him uh, four times or five, I don't remember. And basically, but you need to time those jumps because otherwise uh, you might jump over him on his iframes and that will cause a lot of time loss. And as well, you might lose DD on that regard. Now uh, he's gonna enter Virtue gonna go through Winky's walkway unfortunately we are not gonna see Winky on the run sorry about that guys we love Winky don't worry about that 
but here we're gonna see a lot of instance of extending through the enemies rolling through the enemies and short level fun to watch casually and now we are gonna see the first actually developer intended warp on minecart carnage which well we jump through the abyss but we got a warp arrow because it's on the left side on the abyss and now the second instance of most resets in the game that is bouncy bonanza mainly because uh, you don't grab midpoint barrel because to grab it you need to take a tyro to there but you're not gonna do that so you're just gonna go through more cross spaces uh, no skipping the bees because if you're fast enough you can skip those bees but not tonight not today so now you're gonna might see a lot of tyros uh, rolling through tyro tire tires oh f excuse me I basically forgetting my English but uh, that's faster than jumping over them so but KBZ makes it look easy and now you see the second instance of developer Nintendo warps stop and go go through the left and now you can see that he's gonna roll through these uh, rock rocks that you are basically invincible through them if you're rolling if you your roll animation stop and you get hit well you get hit and here on world two, the final level world two we're gonna see the first instance of super jump we're gonna explain it that later on because we're gonna have more time for that but basically we're gonna use the animation of donkey jumping and we're gonna glitch the game getting the war barrel that otherwise would be slow to reach and finish the level and this will be one of the few instances that we're gonna see donkey shine because well not only that warp is donkey only uh, we need donkey for the first level or three because there is another donkey only warp so and as you see Neki shoots coconuts but as well uh, you just need to time your jumps and you're good to go so okay for this first level on World 3, Vulture Culture, we have another developer intended warp, but this is a special one because not only is Donkey only, also is time based. So if you don't reach that point in a certain amount of time, uh, basically that barrel will never appear. So, but KBC is fast, and also he immediately switching back to Diddy because Diddy is faster. And we're gonna go to top three top town. That again, we're gonna see another developer Nintendo warp. You might not uh, know this, but on the top of the screen, after he jumped the vulture, uh, he jumped on the tire row, and basically that triggered him reaching the the war barrel. So okay, apparently we are too loud. We apologize on that, guys. So now KBZ is gonna set up this super jump. As you saw there, when he took hit with Diddy, uh, Diddy was jumping flywards, upwards, sorry. And now, the next time Diddy appears, and as you saw there, he bounced over an enemy, he jumped really high because he was the game was thinking that uh, Diddy was still uh, taking the hit. So we are gonna skip the whole level by basically flying over. Uh, this is actually with this one and milestone are the actually the only two levels that uses this in a speedrun. Of course, you can do this on six other levels. Actually, you can do this in whole game, but you're gonna just do it on this two because it's faster. Other levels that are super jumpable are not faster. Just ask me. I'm the super jump master. So now uh, KBZ going into Temple Tempest. Uh, that here you're gonna see really nice rolls from him. Basically, look at that gap that he was just able to clear by rolling. Otherwise, you would need to go through the ropes. But basically, there you need to roll through the first guys, release Y, tap it again as soon as you for uh, hitting the third one and you you make enough speed just to clear the gap 
let's see about this one. Oh, nice one. Okay, he didn't get the full extendo there, but still, really cool. And now he's just gonna complete the level, pretty much simple. He's not gonna jump there, because otherwise he gets hit, and since he's only donkey, did he? He's just not gonna. Okay, so now, uh, normally you would go to Ogang, but uh, now we're gonna skip the whole level, reaching to the end, by map warping. What's map warp? On the first word, you see there's corners anywhere. If you tap one of the face buttons, as soon as you reach one of the corners, specifically that one, and he got the first try, what a god, basically, is we're gonna warp to the end of Ogang. And as I told you, uh, this is all stages. But uh, we can glitch through the stages to finish them, and we finished Ogang, so uh, we did not have to play that level. Okay, so now we are in Clam City. Another water level, and well, we have Eduardo back again. Nice. Uh, trust me, map warping is really hard because, well, we it's a one frame chance to hit it, and he got it first try, where. Uh, average is third try. He can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, normally, a in a regular run, you could get uh, third, fourth time, and you still would not lose time. But he's gonna save all the frames. Maybe he can share another frame. So, M City, just another Eduardo level that just don't get hit. And now on the queen, don't sleep on the queen, but what he's gonna try to do is as soon as the queen loses uh, her invincibility frames, he's gonna grab the barrow and throw it at her as soon as she's rising up, Other, so he can skip a couple seconds, as you, and as you see there, he's only grabbing the right one. Why is that? Because the left one... Uh, can take a couple frames longer just to spawn back, so the right one does not have those extra frames. And KBZ is out of Ward 3, so he's gonna get into Ward 4. That no, he, we are gonna get into Snow Barrel Blast. That we're gonna see maybe uh, the Barrel Boost. Maybe let's check if he gets it. But of now it's just don't get hit because you need did it for that to work. So we're gonna go through the barrel section. Okay, so as you saw there, he grabbed the bar the steel keg, he jumped over the slope. Uh sorry, starting the slope, and he got the massive boost. That's a uh, barrel boost. Not sure why programmers forgot about that, but still. And also got the road through the vultures. So and now let's see about the Joe row. Yep. So got into the lower barrow. Not sure if that's was Joe Row, but still shoutouts to Joe the rapper. And he got through the end of Snow Barrow Blast. Yoohoo! And now entering slip slide ride. Uh, basically, uh, second to last instance of developer intended warps. But this one usually you only get with the donkey, but. Now, okay, he's in a bit of trouble, but he got through the ceiling, and normally you would get only with Donkey to that barrel warp, but by a specific uh, button pressing combination, he just got up this up the ceiling and was able to reach the war barrel with uh, Daisy. And now getting into Ice Age Alley. That we're gonna see our boy Expresso. Yoohoo! But this is a level, as I mentioned before, you could super jump the level. He's most likely is gonna cringe on me on this. But no, Expresso is faster for this level. You just make sure don't lose the bird. But if you lose the bird, uh, it's massive time loss. Because finishing this level without Expresso is. it's a pain. Trust me. But this one is just specific. Uh, it's just specific jumping, making sure he can clear all the gaps and reaching the platform without getting hit. So 
And we're gonna have our Croctopus Chase update. So, this is kind of auto scroller. It's not an auto scroller, but it's a two minute and a half long level where we are only given a guard on the end of the level and it's not even useful to grab it because he's out of the way. So, we are gonna navigate this uh, purposely with our both Kongs. If there is any donation worth reading, uh, anyone can jump in and read it, because it's totally fine. Otherwise, you can chill this, uh, this song for two and a half minutes that... Still, even if it's kind of another scroller, uh, there's a way to make it faster. As you saw there, KBZ got bonked into the wall and that made him lose a couple of seconds. If you don't bonk the walls, uh, it's good. Basic, uh, there's that's the only way to save time in the level, not bonking into the walls, or as we s say in the community, cutting the corners. So I'm just gonna turn off the volume here because I want to check if he gets piano less. In this level, if you finish the level before the start of the piano section of it. That's perfect, but for considering the amount of bunks that he had so far, I would say no, but still. So, KBZ ready on the last section of it. And I'm gonna indicate where Eduardo, sorry, Inguard is on this level. So, as you saw there, as you're gonna see soon, there is a narrow coral thing on the left that's where the crate for Enguard is but it's out of the way and if you grab it, it he creates an insane amount of lag so it's not worth the risk not a worth taking it so it's on the final section so let's check no he didn't get piano less so uh, it's a shame but still it's nice level so now he's gonna get into torchlight trouble uh, we are not gonna grab squawks because he creates an insane amount of lag and as you saw there he gets back boost in order to well it's faster just to jump over the enemies facing the wrong direction and he's gonna shoot us towards the place we want to go so it's a really cool short level you didn't see anything but Trust me, when you play it, it's really nice. And now, Robridge Rumbo. There is a kinda recent, but of course KBZ not gonna go for it. Uh, Super Jump Row. Don't worry, we might see Super Jump Row soon in this run. I would say, so... But still, this level is really fun with all the tire rolls. As you saw there, rolling, we're standing on the tire. And now he's gonna clear the gaps by rolling through the critters. No problem at all. Wow. Nice there. Okay, so now he's gonna wait for the psycho because that's how he should do it. Now okay, he didn't get the back boost there, which is weird, but okay. Finishing Robert Rumbo, no problem. So now really naughty. So we had naughty Barry. But now he's gonna get really naughty that and every hit he's gonna jump high a certain amount of times but KBZ now getting into the sexy corner and he <laughs> getting that again so okay so before the super jump row was covered you would sacrifice donkey to skip a psycho but now what we're going to do is combine a super jump we saw earlier with a jump row that if he gets it uh, we're gonna that's plain so as you now we're gonna get hit by Diddy making sure he sends fly upwards get Diddy back so jump into the flame and oh he got a regular jump row so okay so the jump row essentially is tapping Y on the same frame you hit an enemy where you're supposed to hit by jumping. So that created that animation as you saw there from it rolling. What we wanted is combine the super jump that we saw on Forest Frenzy with this jump row that we just saw 
So Diddy could be sent flying upwards, rolling and with an insane amount of speed. But now we are gonna get stuck watching the old fashioned uh, ODA, which is still really nice because this last section is so hard, but KBZ made it look so easy. And as well, we got to enjoy more of the song. And we're gonna check the last developer intended warp here in Tic Tac Track. A, an auto scroller that fortunately we are not gonna play that. And as well, we're gonna have the last, uh, the last, last, last instance of bonus warp. So here is another level that you could super jump, but it's slower. And KBZ is here to show some speed and not about showing slow runs. So. As you see there, he's gonna get into the bonus, fail the bonus on purpose, and now we're gonna get sent into midpoint barrel and almost to the end of the game. Start of the level, not the game. We're still plenty of game left. So now he's gonna shift the camera so he can activate those elevators, and now we see if he gets elevator skip. Not yet. Okay, playing safe there. I don't blame him. Okay, elevator skip. Nice. And the end of the level. So. And we're gonna say goodbye to our friend Eduardo. Let's see if he gets triple mincers. But this is the last water level in the whole game. And of course, the last level we're gonna see our boy and guard that finally he will be able to shine on Donkey Kong Country 3 but that will be for another marathon so now he's gonna go through the mincers cause Inguar doesn't care about getting hit at least not yet <clears throat> so okay he bonked a little bit there but still not losing the fish that's the most important thing Okay, so let's see. Oh, what a what a guy <laughs> going through the mincers like everyday job. So let's see. No, okay, he's not gonna have problem finishing the level. So Ward, thank you so much for coming. You didn't fail tonight, and now we're gonna see the infinite arrow glitch. So as you see there, Donkey goes walking through the thing, and as you saw there, he got hit, and instead of like dying straight to the pit, okay, KBZ, oh, KBZ getting the jump rope, what a guy. So okay, let me explain the process there. Uh, he ran through the minecart. When Donkey got hit, he instead of like falling to the pit, he just straight up run. So. That made the game confused, thinking that uh, the monkeys were still on the floor. That made KBZ be able to roll with Didi infinitely. Then he made the jump rope glitch uh, he got on ODA. And on that state, you're basically invincible to everything instead the bees. So that's why he had to jump out of the jump rope state. But uh, that's just basically almost the end of the level and now he, we're just gonna navigate through the minecart section without getting hit by the bees and there we go <laughs> so KBZ showing off some really cool tricks there let's see if he gets the super jump row on world 6 and that will be complete awesome run for a marathon and now say goodbye to blackout basement sorry hi to blackout basement or as we call it him Bob uh, basically the the lights goes on and off uh, in a time base so your movement needs to be basically perfect or at least you need to know exactly what to do because otherwise you might get confused on when to jump or when to roll but the top level players have so much muscle memory on this level that Basically, they know when to row and when to jump, and they know they won't fall into abyss. 
Okay, uh, almost the end of the world. So we're gonna have this dump drum that basically is gonna kill himself by going into the floor and throwing us some enemies that we can just make it faster by hitting them on the first frame available and as you see there KBZ showing some slap slides and switching up to donkey because the last two faces uh, enemies that the boss would throw can only be hit by donkey and KBZ showing off some sexy swag one trick frame called slap slide that you need to uh, press down a direction and Y at the same frame with Donkey and he's just gonna move doing slap slides. <laughs> what a guy. What a guy. And now, welcome guys to World 6, the World of Frames. Let's see if he gets at least one of them. So, here we have Tut, Tank of Trouble. We have two instances of frames. Calling, well, it's basically uh, cram tut, where we get the jump row out of a cramling, or bird tut, where we get through a vulture, of course. The cram tut is arguably the faster of the two versions, but a bit the the hardest of them because you need to wiggle a lot. The bird tut is the easiest one, but you need to wait a couple of seconds in a certain spot. Okay, KBC not going for Kremtut. Of course, uh, he prefers Burtut. So let's see. Setting up the maneuvering and. Oh! <laughs> what a guy! Ooh, what a guy! So there you go, we're gonna skip the level. Okay, so he had to wiggle there in order to make sure he didn't get hit by the bee. And now he's wiggling here with the noddies because. Every second, well, every frame he goes on, uh, he falls up a little bit, and that wiggle he went with the nollies ensured that he won't get hit by this beast section, otherwise it would mean fall into abyss and the dead. So, now KVZ showing off some sexy tricks there. So, now entering Manic Mincers. Had Rambi on the first level, we didn't take it because it's slower, but in this level it's actually faster. Because we're gonna give him... Okay, I'm not gonna give him spoilers, but basically we're gonna use him later on. And also ensures us that we're gonna have an extra hit there. So, now waiting on the mincers, hitting the crutches. And, okay, so, now on this section... Okay, so... Okay, guys, say goodbye to Rambi, giving the Yoshi treatment. Rambi Thump. A sexy back boost. And... The end of the level. Really cool stuff there. Rambi Thump. So, uh, Misty Mine, let's see if we can have some Super Jump Row here. Okay, so, Super Jump Setup. Killing Donkey for the sake of it. Okay, a bit too late. So, no super jump row on this run. Shaking my SMH. So, we are gonna stuck with sexy old Misty Row. That we're gonna get through Misty Mines. Rolling and rolling, rolling deep. So basically what we're gonna use is that every time Diddy rolls through an enemy, well that's true for Donkey as well, but Donkey is slow as hell. So every time Diddy rolls through an enemy, he gets faster and faster. So there are sections that there are so many enemies lined up that he rolls faster than the camera itself. Back boosting on the armadillo, on the army. No. Wiggling there, ensuring you don't get hit by the snake. And finish up Misty Mine, rolling it. Okay, and Loopy Light, unfortunately. Okay, so as you saw there, that claptrap is the only one that you can hit by rolling. All the rest of it is just you need to jump over them. And these claptraps are special because they jump 
every time we jump, they jump as well. So you need to time the jumps, making sure you don't get hit. Yes, Diddy is our fast boy. Diddy was made for speed running. Otherwise, all the rest of the Kong family were not made for speed running, unfortunately. So, as well, this is one of the levels alongside uh, Torchlight Trouble and Blackout Basement that the runners have it so memorized and have so much muscle memories on it that they don't need the, uh, the lights to be able to see what they're doing provided they do the same movement all over again and he got it uh, damageless so which is really nice on a marathon and now we're gonna see Peros the last frame instance otherwise we still have so cool movement here going through the platforming so let's see okay back boosting setting up the army oh a frame late as you saw there he did he made the movement he was jumping but he just just jumped he didn't roll through the air so we got a frame too late but still we're gonna have a s oh this is fine <laughs> him why that why he didn't roll or why did he didn't continue the roll that was odd that was really odd still not a painful death because he just took midpoint and now let's see if he gets the mandatory trick called the Glodon Barrow okay we have easy gold there so we have the Glodon Barrow basically what happened is that the game had so many uh, sprites loaded that could not load the colors of the barrel correctly and there you go we have a pallet swap barrel and now he entered uh, Neki Senior uh, he's akin to uh, Neki how was really naughty to very naughty so he just needs to time the jumps somehow maybe he'd time the diddy jump but we had donkey and donkey is gonna enter the final showdown against our boy Kero. so shout outs to the best uh, remix of this song i'm not allowed to sing it but if people search it they will find it and <laughs> kbz going with slap slides on Kru. <laughs> what a guy and getting the chromeless wow chromeless hits hitting Kru on the same frame he throws the crown so uh, please restreamer be ready kappa of course, uh, you can only play it against this boss with Donkey doing slap slides and jumping at the same time as Kru. Otherwise, run is invalid. Trust me. <laughs> it always gets on me when someone mimics Kru movement with Donkey. So, uh, do, do. I'm not sure if I'm on the same song because. I have the restream muted. I might not be. So. Okay. Okay. GG, everyone. Donkey did it. He's a boss. He didn't play the whole game, but he gets the credits with K. Uh, we have Claptrap on the coding of this game. Crusher, the characters. Creator made the coloring. The concept was made by Clum. And Commander King Kero? The end with question mark? Oh, we got debated. We got debated. So, okay, last section of it. Last section of it. Okay, so. Debated. Okay, so time is really close. I'm gonna let you know. But. So. Uh, okay, he's on the last section. Mimicking Kru jumps.
and time is time so gg kbz i'm gonna wait for the restream to let me know which was the time the final time 3407 or 3409 still uh 34 minutes it's a really nice run for a marathon considering he got he didn't get any super jump row and he died on paros yeah really nice run so nice one kbz really nice one so for the world records a let me just off uh, you can check it on dkcspeedrunning.com sorry dkcspeedruns.com so let's check the world record I always forget is a 32 19 for peachy but of course the true world record is 34 13 so for which is nice okay for anyone that wants to learn about this game dkcspeedrun.com is a nice library we have of course you can join our discord where people is more than happy to help you out and of course guys keep donating for this awesome cause uh, please support and of course please keep watching the marathon really nice stuff coming up so far I totally enjoy the marathon and we're still plenty up to come so hey I'm not sure if I'm gonna go into transition we KBZ with a smurf peak over there <laughs> what a guy smurf peak uh, <laughs> the painting with smurf peak what a guy <laughs> what a guy so <laughs> Okay, so 